Hello, this is Dr. Vikas from India. So this patient came to me with extreme pain in right ear. Uh, for the past four days, uh, the patient is unable to hear from 15 to 20 days and complained of uh, some heaviness inside the ear for the past few years. There is a strange history of uh, some neurosurgical procedure for trigeminal neuralgia after which the problems started. So on endoscopy, when I saw it initially looked to be simple wax, but when I tried to do suctioning in the superior part, I could see some whitish flakes again uh, that was suggestive of keratosis obturans. And one thing which you can make out is the canal is not normal. It's a vertical canal. So basically, canal is somewhat oval or round in shape. This canal is... Uh, looks to be a vertical canal and obviously with uh, narrowed lumen which is probably causing the wax deposition and subsequently formation of keratosis obturus. So the patient had extreme pain so I was trying to remove it gently trying to make planes you can see some flakes have started to come out I'm, I had approached it from the superior aspect initially. Now I am at the inferior aspect and some flakes I am able to take it out. So it looks like it's uh, tightly packed inside. So I had to use few peroxide drops, which is hydrogen peroxide to loosen up the crusts. So this has uh, softened the mass. And the mass is basically what happens is this mass is adherent to the external canal skin and it takes some effort to take it out and this uh, peroxide drops and sometimes the uh, bicarbonate drops also helps a lot in loosening these crusts. So you can see this there is a central portion where there is wax and peripherally it is surrounded by keratotic whitish skin which is the main culprit so basically the wax is present in the lap of keratosis this keratosis has the tendency to invade the skin which causes the bleeding so once we clean everything out then we will see what was the area or region which was causing the bleeding sorry pain we are, see we are gently trying to remove the crusts few sheets of epithelium is out this procedure takes time as this uh, may cause pain and sometimes this can also incite vago vagal syndrome which is called patient might faint at the time of this procedure so this should be done very very gently and very slowly you can see the whole mass is moving so that is the basic culprit we are unable to see the tympanic membrane right now layer by layer we have to go inside and take everything out now you can very well appreciate the whitish flakes which are coming out and this is the main culprit So I have tried to remove it with the use of hooks also. This is a very good tool in mobilizing because the hooks are very small and if you keep the tip under vision, they are almost atraumatic. They can slide in around the areas or corners where suction cannot go. So after loosening up, they, they are being sucked out very nicely. So the plane has to be formed inferiorly so that this thing can be taken out in total. See the size and shape of the canal. It's a very narrow canal. So I was having a great difficulty in maneuvering the endoscope and the suction at the same time without causing any trauma to the ear canal because remember these canals are very much inflamed which may bleed if you touch the canal with either suction or the endoscope and once bleeding starts 
it becomes very difficult to remove very difficult to see uh, this was the main mass which came out right now and this was the initial wax maybe it, it might have started with this wax deposition and uh, which was unable to come out on its own see the canal it is almost vertical canal till now we are not able to see the tympanic membrane now this was the final bit of the mass which was taken out safely without injuring any structure now you can see the nice tympanic membrane but there is some keratotic lining which is being sucked right now and you can see a depression there this depression is caused by this keratotic mass this is the erosion inside the ear canal which was the main culprit for this pain now patient is able to hear very nicely and the pain is almost gone immediately this patient will require regular follow up and ear cleaning every 6 months thank you